Hey everyone! Oh. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is the update about the first 12 weeks of my pregnancy. And for those of you who are Dutch, I just recorded this video in Dutch too. And you can find it on my Dutch YouTube channel, Lucinda of Roosjes. So if you prefer to watch me talk Dutch, then you can watch me talk Dutch. By the way, my sister is um, adding subtitles to my Dutch videos. And um, she has done a few. She's really busy, but every now and then she translates a new video. And then in the title it says with English subtitles. So if you want, uh, if you speak English but you don't speak Dutch and you want to watch my Dutch videos, you can watch um, at this point at least some of them with the subtitles. So that's that. Let's talk about the pregnancy. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Victor woke up. So let's see. Yeah. If I can film the video with him here. So a while ago uh, I found out that I am pregnant and uh, that was a big shock because we weren't trying to get pregnant. And uh, so yeah, huge surprise. And it took me a while to get used to the idea because uh, motherhood is pretty tough. Uh, all the moms out there <laughs> will probably agree with me or at least a lot of you. And uh, yeah, the thought of having two kids to take care of was just a little overwhelming. And also the thought of having to give birth again. And yeah, it was just, it took me, I was worrying a lot in the beginning. But now it's getting a little better. And um, I'm starting to see all the good things about the pregnancy and... Um, how great it is that Victor gets a little brother or sister. I wanted to say brother. I may, I wonder if it is a boy or a girl this time. And of course this baby is very, very welcome. And um, we always want another baby. So maybe it's a good timing. Then we just have um, the more difficult or tough years all together. When I look back, I had early pregnancy symptoms. I was really moody and I got angry really fast, just like one of the first symptoms in my first pregnancy. I felt um, like I wanted to slam doors all the time, things like that. And I had really sore nipples. I'm still breastfeeding, so every time he latches it hurts. And um, then the nausea started and that's when I got a feeling like hmm, I might be pregnant. <laughs> And now she got worse and uh, yeah, then we took a test and yes, positive pregnant. And then the vomiting started and it's just been way worse than with the first pregnancy. I felt hondsbedoerd, like we say in Dutch. It means something like sick like a dog. It was so, so tough and uh, nausea was really overwhelming and I had to throw up a lot. And not to a point in which I felt like I didn't, I was dehydrating or anything. But um, yeah, it was just really uncomfortable, of course. And a lot of nights I couldn't sleep because of the nausea. The last few weeks I've been also really tired. Especially after 5 in the afternoon, that's when I feel all my energy like slip away. And I can't wait to go to bed. <laughs> And my husband has been great and he's, <laughs> <laughs> he is really helping a lot <laughs> uh, during the evenings. <laughs> then he looks after Victor and sometimes I help too a little bit, but he does the, he, yeah, he watches him and keeps him entertained most of the time. I also had a lot of help from my sister. She was here a lot of days. Um, like from 9 to 4 or something to help me with Victor, with the laundry and even with videos. So that was awesome. That made life a little bit easier or a lot easier actually. And my parents were also here for a weekend. And when they're here they help a lot too. So yeah, that was great. I do have some cravings. I wrote them down. Uh, I wanted cheese with mustard. Um, cola or coke I don't drink that a lot but instead of that I drink Sparrow I guess the bubbles really help with the nausea okay so Victoria is here sitting in my 
pile of laundry. <laughs> then a certain sandwich spread, it's a veggie spread, chocolate milk, and then a certain bread with cream or it's a kind of pastry and then goat's cheese and something that you could compare to pigs in a blanket but it's a little different the sausage that's in there it's typical dutch um but yeah bread with sausage i have to keep an eye on victor here i also had a few aversions i don't like sweets in general I don't crave them. I still like them. If someone asks me if I want a slice of cake, then I will say yes. But I don't buy it myself, usually, sorry, uh, just because it makes the nausea worse. So I don't want to eat it, of course. And apart from that, I don't want kisses from my husband, just like last or first pregnancy. And uh, I allow him to kiss me on the cheek because he wants to kiss me. <laughs> And my nose is just so sensitive, so yeah, it's not like he has a bad smell or anything, but I just can't, I don't want to smell anything, whether it's his aftershave. So yeah, my nose is super sensitive. I've been to the midwife a couple times, and we also had an ultrasound twice. And the first ultrasound was, uh, you could see a beating heart, but apart from that, you couldn't see very much when it comes to arms and legs which was very different the second time and that ultrasound was at 10 weeks and then I could clearly see little arms and legs and the baby was moving it was really really cute um, I'm sorry about the no noise Victor is playing with the pins and blood pressure was fine I had to also get some blood work done which is well everyone has to have some blood work done when they're pregnant pregnant and um, I am still wondering I'm going to ask her that on Monday I, I'm seeing the midwife again on Monday how my vitamin D was because in the past it's been very low and now that I am breastfeeding and also pregnant there's every reason that it could be very low again I have to say this second pregnancy is so different from the first one it goes by faster and I'm not as focused on it as I was the first time because of course I have so much distraction, literally, <laughs> with Victor now. And it's also different in the way that I have a very clear expectation of what I can expect uh, when it comes to labor and delivery and when baby is here. And yeah, that has also gotten me worried because I know it can be really intense and the last few weeks that has gotten a little bit better i can also really look forward to the baby and to the interaction that the two kids will have one day when they're a little older and they can play together now overall the first trimester was really me being in survival mode and i really do hope that gets better and that i get my energy back and feel like myself again this pregnancy is already different from the first one and uh, i hope it will be a little better it was more intense but I hope that means the second trimester will be a little better than uh, in my first pregnancy because I stayed nauseous for so long, almost in, throughout the entire pregnancy. And I was also very, very tired throughout the entire pregnancy. Maybe apart from the last two weeks, then things got a little better. But we'll see, let's stay optimistic. And then this was everything that I can tell you for now, I think. And then I will see you in the next video. Bye! 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 Yeah. <laughs>